Welcome to the shop everyone. On today's video we're going to be installing those aluminum AFR heads onto this big block Chevy. And also with that brass rod I want to make some guides that you screw into the deck of the engine to help guide the head onto the dowels onto the deck. Uh, sometimes when you got a, a heavy head those dowels in the deck don't stick up maybe a quarter inch then you have your gasket on there which may only be like an eighth of an inch sticking up and sometimes they're kind of hard to find you slide stuff around so with these guides I'm hoping to where you can slide it through a bolt hole and then slide it down on them where it'll line up correctly the first time so I'm gonna make these about seven inches long put me a little scribe on there Now, when those ARP studs, I'm gonna measure it. I need to machine that brass to be about the same size. So, usually when I'm making a cut with the lathe, what I do is I, I tell the lathe how much I want it to cut, then I'll take that measurement and see what it really gives me. So if I do this several times while I'm bringing the shaft to size, the last cut I can be more assured that it'll be the right dimension when I'm finished. Let's get that out of there and get it cut off with the bandsaw. There we go. Let's get it back in the lathe and go ahead and face the front of it off. Alright, so now I'm going to need to thread the end so it'll screw into the deck. So we'll go over here on the chart of the lathe. It's a 14 thread. So those are the numbers I need to ship the levers for it to give me that thread. So let's get it set up here. Getting to the final cuts. Ah, perfect. Looks nice. Go ahead and cut it off. Now, because I wanted to guide the head on there, I want to round that in there. So, this is actually a mill for my milling machine to cut round surfaces around corners but I can chuck it in my lathe and do the same thing all right so our end there is nice and rounded so there's our head guides that'll help guide the heads on there when we set them on Go ahead and get them screwed into the deck and you can see those dials sticking up on the two upper sides of the block go ahead and get the gasket on there make sure everything fits good now I cleaned the surfaces real good this motor had been decked and the heads were fresh and so just made sure everything was real clean 
before I set it on there. So now it's time to put the ARP studs in there. Now, that's the information on what to torque the studs to, but also they say is you don't want to tighten those into the deck. You just want them about finger tight. And also since this big block here, the holes aren't blind holes. They're actually open to the water jackets that I'm gonna use silicone on the threads when I screw them in. So we just go through, put all the studs in the heads with some silicone on there. I find it easier sometimes just to squirt some on the workbench and coat the threads like that. Alright, so I'm going to screw all the studs in and I'm not going to tighten them. Just sort of just a, a soft tight. Oh, they'd say hand tight. So I don't put a whole lot of torque on them at all. And, and I have had people tell me that you know, if you screw them in there hard, sometimes it can split the block, uh, especially on those old, like, small block 400s. I have a, a friend who puts a lot of engines together, and he said he, he has seen that happen. All right. Get the washers on there. And it's also a good thing to make sure your washers aren't too big for the socket machined out in the heads. So I'm just making sure they all seat well. Now that's that AR, ARP lube, which gets all over everything. But I just want to make sure I coat everything well. Go ahead and get all the nuts on there. speed and handle to tighten them down and I'm already trying to follow the pattern that the factory gives you the sequence as far as the tightening now I want to torque this head down before that silicon has time to set up and they also say if you use Loctite or anything you know the reason being is threads have clearance and in between that clearance if you don't tighten that thread up it won't pull up against the steel and you'll have that you know the silicon or the Loctite in between there that it's tightened up against and I want it to tighten up against the block threads itself all right so that one heads on there let's get the other side on there and I'm just sighting you know those guides down one of the thread holes so same thing on this head we'll get all the studs prepped and in there get all the washers on there get the ARP lube on there and you know you always want to follow the manufacturers instructions on how to put their product on your engine and like AFR they have their torque recommendations and they tell you to go by the factory sequence which I did but they said intervals between about 15 pounds so you start off with like 30 pounds and then from there up you keep going up 15 pounds until you reach the maximum torque setting for those studs then as always I want to mark everything make sure I you know when I come back to the engine I know this part has been done so the heads have been installed uh, the next we'll be putting the push rod rocker arms and lining up the guide plates we always hope you guys enjoyed the video and we appreciate y'all for watching give us that thumbs up share subscribe if you like to and as always we hope to see y'all on the next video Thanks so much.